Hello, hello. Welcome to Shading White. I'm Marilyn, and today we have a clearance sale. If you haven't been here before, my husband, Barry, and I do online uh, sales. We are resellers. We sell on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, and YouTube. We give our YouTube subscribers a discount from what we do our online platforms. So join us uh, on Fridays. We generally do something different than we normally do clearance sales, um, subscription boxes, unopenings, uh, all kinds of different things. Barry has some videos coming up he's working on. So join us if you haven't already. Hopefully you'll like us and subscribe below if you haven't already. Uh, it's very easy. If you see something that interests you, you just send us an email to one shadyy at gmail.com. We'll send you a PayPal invoice. Just give us the timestamp of the item plus a description. If you haven't purchased from us before, just give us your mailing address. Very simple. Shipping is $6 under a pound in the United States. Anything outside the United States or is based on let me rephrase that. Anything over a pound or based out of the United States is based on where you're located and how much it weighs. So I'm going to, oh, let me tell you what rings I have on today. Um, this is a new um, uh, piece I just got. It's another one of the emerald cut uh, cubic zirconia. This one is done in a uh, vermeil and it has baggots on the side and some scroll work of the setting so beautiful you know how I love these um, and then this one I thought was a fabulous this is a wire ring it's braided wire and it is a aurora borealis rhinestone uh, pronged and then a bicone green uh, little bead and I thought that was really a cute ring. This is a size, um, as you can see, it's adjustable ring. Right now it is set at about an eight and a three fourths, but it can probably go down to about a 10 comfortably, or you can uh, make it smaller if you wish. And on this one, I'm just going to do $18. That's a cutie, I think. So I'm just going to push these out of the way and then we're going to do them one at a time and see if there's something that interests anybody. The first piece I have is a cording couple transfer piece. This is a brass um, frame. It is filigree and it is a roller clasp, safety clasp. And there is the couple. And let me give you a measurement of this. It is two and a quarter inch by one and five eighths of an inch. And it's lifted off a little bit. So it is about three eighths of an inch. So on this one, I'm going to say just $8. Okay, next we have these little Monet uh, clip-on earrings. These are so nice. They're signed Monet. Um, they're the little Huggies um, on clip-ons. And they are in a gold tone. And it has um, like a texture side and then like a um, smooth side. They need to be polished up probably a little bit. And on these, I'm just going to do $6. Those are really nice. The next we have this left facing cameo. This is a really nice one in a Greek um, looking cameo. Um, a strong nose kind of tells us it's an older one. It is set in a filigree gold wash. There's the back. There's the front. It's definitely shell. It has a sterling silver bell. And this is, let me give you a size on it. It is one and a half inches by one inch. And the left facing ones are rare, rarer. 
Um, but this is a nice one. You can tell that it is hand cut. You can see a lot of the um, pieces, not pieces, a lot of the uh, carving marks on it. So that is pretty cool. So on this one, I'm going to say let's do $40. And that would have been um, pre-Art Deco, that style. Now we have these, and these are um, Art Deco also. They are carved coral, and they have um, uh, screw backs, and they are marked on the screw back, and it says Germany. That's the back. That's the front, it's built up. So that carved coral, just a very nice. And you can see the carving marks on them. Very nice. And on this, I'm gonna say, let's just do a $15. Now on these, these are glass gold gilt converted earrings they were you can see the um indentions on it where they were um screw backs and they've been converted over to post and they're like a scroll work inside or paisley and it is gold gilled uh, and red glass and on these i'm going to do just eight dollars Now these are Victorian. These are screw backs and they're done in brass with coral. And aren't those so interesting? I love how it um, is very brutalist kind of, even the brutalist style came in later, but that's the um, just that I'm kind of getting off of these. They are built up and just unique. And on these, I'm going to say um, $12. Now this is a, it's marked on the back, gold filled. It's true K because it has a T and a K. And um, that's a um, 19, 30s and 40s company um, so it's done with this really pretty design with a opal in the center it's such a sweet little bar pen it is um, two and three fourths of an inch by three eighths of an inch and I'm gonna say just twelve dollars on that one Next, we have this Black Hills Gold Cross. Um, Black Hills, um, real gold. Um, it is a mixture of rose gold and yellow gold. And it's a really old process. And then this cross is a composite. And it's black, obviously. It is an inch and a quarter by three-fourths of an inch. And on the Black Hills Gold Cross, I'm gonna do $30. Now this I think is the sweetest thing. This is a Victorian Chatelaine Compact Mirror. Let's see if you can see it. So there's the mirror. Let's see. You see the reflection? I don't even see it. But it's a mirror. And you can see my fingernail in there. And it snaps closed. And there is the um, little tiny bell. And this would go on like somebody who is um, has a chest. chest bleh, Chatelaine, and that is the key. Generally, the head housekeeper, and they had the keys to the house, and they had other little things like 
um, keys and a pencil. Um, and that's where it started from. However, it became very, very popular. And other people were um, collecting these and they would put them on their belt sashes and they would have mirror and um, a dance card um, and a pencil. And they were like all little miniatures. And they had like um, like a little knitty needles in case something happened to their shawl or something that they could fix it right then. Um, but this is a tiny one. It's just so precious. I've only seen a few of these and just amazing. It is three-fourths of an inch, including the bell. And then um, probably uh, five-eighths of an inch. And on this one, I'm going to do just $22. This is a sweet piece. Before I had said that it um, was faux pearls, but it's not, it's real pearls. It's by um, Vandell. It is these uh, beautiful little scrolls and it has a safety chain. It is marked on um, the little bale. Um, as I said, it has real, rind, uh, real pearls and it has a roller clasp. And this is, let me get you a size. And the safety chain comes over here and connects. It is seven and a quarter inches. And on this one, I am going to say just $10. Now this is sweet. This is um, a Victorian brooch. A bar pin. It has the little bail that you can attach like a little heart or um, anything to it. Um, a lot of times they would use these as um, morning jewelry and they would have a um, locket with a piece of hair or um, like a photo that would hang from the little bail. It is in a rose gold and a um, gray and it has a little pearl there, and I think the pearl's real, however, I can't tell, because um, it's so tiny. It does have this beautiful stamping to it. Um, there's the back. It has a C-clasp, and this is um, two and three-eighths of an inch by uh, five-eighths of an inch, and then it is a half inch. And on, I love Victorian jewelry. I think this is such a beautiful piece. And on this one, I'm going to say $22. These are gorgeous. These are signed um, Sterling AKR. And AKR stands for Anna Con Russell. And these are um, carved onyx, clip-on earrings. And Anna Con, Anna, ugh, Anna Con Russell is a great designer. Beautiful pieces. These are actually a very nice and weighty, great quality. Her stuff is so collectible. This is an inch. And an eighth by about an inch. And on these, I am going to say $55. Though, oh, let me tell you how wide they are also, or deep rather. They are half an inch. So these are beauties. Love them. As I said, I'm going to do $55 for these. Next, we have this small little onyx um, sterling silver cuff. This is about six and a fourth of an inch. Um, of course, you could heat it up with your hand, get it um, really warm, and then slightly pull on it. So you can make it just a little bit bigger. It is signed right here. Sterling with a symbol. I cannot read the symbol. So on the onyx cuff, 
I'm going to do $30, but that is gorgeous. Now this is a nice little piece. This is a filigree sterling silver. It is, has a um, shepherd's hook. This was a small piece. This is only six and a half inches. However, this is easily um, can be made larger. You simply just get another um, hook and hook it on to one end and however much space you need, you just keep adding them on. Just be sure it's sterling silver. And all you do is you pinch them together so they can't open. And that is a simple way of expanding a shepherd hook bracelet or necklace. It is such a pretty piece. Very, very detailed. And especially with the little panels. And on this one, I am going to do $35. Next, we have this sterling silver. It says sterling right here. Um, Malachite pendant. It is um, filigree open work. It is one inch by uh, five eighths of an inch. And on the Malachite pendant, I'm going to say $20. And then I have the same setting in a bloodstone. There you go. It's also saying sterling, same size, just beautiful. Then we have these pretty sterling silver screw back. They say sterling on the screw back. And they are three petals and a like rose in the center. And these are sweet, I think. As I said, they're screw backs. And on these, I'm going to do just $15. Very nice. Next, we have this little Mexican sombrero pendant. It is sterling. It says Mexico right on the front. It says um, on the back, it says it has the Mexican eagle. I can't read what else it says. It's like it's double stamped. Uh, so I cannot read it, but it is the uh, Mexican Eagle right there. Um, so this is an older one. And on this one, I'm going to do just $12. It is one inch. And if you include the bail, it is one and an eighth of an inch. So just $12. This is an 18 inch box chain with an onyx and topaz sterling pendant. Um, each one of these gets a little bigger as it goes, so it's graduated. And all of those are all um, clear topaz or white topaz, depending on what you call them. And this is onyx. Such a nice pendant style. As I said, it's an 18 inch box chain. And on this one, I'm going to say $40. Here we have just a brass wire and fast, hand faceted uh, pink quartz ring. It is a size six and it is, you can tell that it's been hand um, faceted because it is, none of them are the same shape or the same size uh, and on this one I'm gonna do just five dollars and it's a size six here we have a pre 1970s and the reason we know that is because it is stamped with the um, 
the bell and um, so it's bell trading post and it has the bell and they used this exact stamp pre-1970. So it's a solid copper. It has the Thunderbird and arrows and more stamping all the way. And on this one, it is very small, but you can um, make it a little larger. However, I think this would be best for a small wrist. And on this one, I'm gonna say $12. And right now it is sitting at a five and three fourths of an inch. So really cool stamping on this one. Next we have this hematite. There's a helicopter going over. I'm not sure if you can hear it. Um, hematite barrel clasp with glass beads and a glass um, teardrop. Very pretty. And this is 18 inches. And I'm just going to do $5 on that. Next, we have this small little arrowhead. It is a real arrowhead. Looks like it probably had a um, band wrapped around it right here. No longer does. The tip is still um, good, not been broken. And on the arrowhead, I'm just gonna do $4. Here we have uh, a barrel class, a small little multi gemstone bracelet. This is six inches and I'm just going to do five dollars and it has all these real gemstones on it. So this is a really good deal. As I said, it has a barrel class. Next we have this. This is a larger barrel class with real gemstones and hematite um, beads and it's got jade and quartz. It's got amber. Um, just really pretty pieces. And this is eight and a quarter, so it could be a larger bracelet or a anklet. And this one slides right on for me. And it's not too big, it won't slide off, but it's a nice little piece. And on this one, I'm gonna do $6. Now we have this one. And this is Jasper and Onyx with, um, I didn't test these, so they might be sterling. However, I know they're still silver tone. I'm not gonna stop and test them. But the, love these green, I love green anyway. And it has a barrel clasp. And this one is seven inches and I'm just gonna do $6. Now we have some slices. The first one we have is a necklace, and it is um, an agate slice with rhinestones around the edges, has a gold tone necklace, and it's a really long necklace. It has a lobster clasp. It is using the extension, so I'll tell you what the whole thing is. It's 34 inches, and the slice is an inch and an or two and two and an eighth of an inch by uh, one and five eighths of an inch. And on this one, I'm just gonna do six dollars. Pretty piece. Then this one, we just have an agate slice with a gold trim on it. Such a pretty color. I don't know if it's coming through very well, but it is really a nice yellow. You could probably see it best like just as I'm turning it so it doesn't have that direct lighting on it, but it's clear um, and then cloudy and then a yellow. And on this one, I'm going to say $6. And this is a um, long one. This one is three and three fourths of an inch by an inch and three eighths. So $6. And the last geode I have, or slice, is quartz um, geode pendant. It is done in a wire, and it is two and a half inches by an inch and a half. There's that. 
the next ones that we have is I find the second one <laughs> oh, right there right in front of me these are cute sterling studs they can either be little crosses or little X marks I have already pre tested everything I don't see a mark on these they are really really small they are um, three eighths of an inch and on the sterling studs I'm just gonna say $12. Now here we have a Zuni um, sun face tie clip. There's the back. It's marked patent pending or no, there's a patent number. And um, the Zunis and the bales are sterling silver and it is turquoise, coral, and mother of pearl and onyx. And the back of the um, tie clip is not sterling. And on the Zuni pieces, I'm going to say just $15. And it's nice because it's new on card. So definitely a nice piece. This is beautiful. I think this is a stunning piece. It is, let me turn it around right. It is amethyst and these little butterflies. Aren't they pretty? And they um, are on a 26 inch chain. It's um, a Figaro chain, I believe is the way it said. And I, what I believe is that this has been extended. And this is what I'm telling people all the time to do on the short necklaces. You just simply get a very nice chain to attach to it and you have a new, much longer necklace. And that's what we like today, just the longer necklaces because those 14 and 16 inch, even sometimes the 18 inches is just a little too short for the styles of today. But it's nice to wear vintage pieces or antique pieces even. Um, so it's nice to add, um, a longer chain to it. This is 26 inches in total. And on the amethyst sterling necklace, I'm gonna do $40. That is beautiful. Here we have these. I think these are really interesting pieces. And the reason I think they're interesting is kind of like they're um, pods. Um, so they are attached, but they do not open and they have an onyx bead at the end. So they're so unique. I just really think, I like unique pieces. And this is a size one and three fourths of an inch. And on the onyx bead earrings, I'm going to do $15 and they are sterling. Then we have these, these are special. These are turquoise, um, plated, stamped. Um, they are a sunrise or sunset. I'm not sure. And they're signed C. Isaacs, which is Chip Isaacs. It's Native American. And they are just stunners. Um, I will polish them up a little if you want. Otherwise, I will just send a cleaning cloth and let you do it. Um, some people don't want you to mess with it. Some people do. And on the C. Isaacs or Chip Isaacs turquoise sterling earrings, I'm going to do $45. It's hard to find stuff by um, C. Isaacs or Chris Isaacs anymore. Um, so when I find them, I'm very, very excited. This is a sterling spiral wave pendant. It is just like so in the back. It, um, the back is concave just a little bit. It says 925 right there. It is an inch and a half by an inch. And on this one, I'm gonna do just $15. And it's a nice piece of sterling too. Here we have a sterling slide locket. This is from the 40s, it has a beautiful flower etching on the front, clear on the back, 
and it just slides open like so, like so. And on this one, I think it's marked right here, 925. And on this one, I'm gonna do $30. And the last piece I have for today is this black Wedgwood made in England porcelain ring. There you go. It is has the English markings and it is a 10 and a half. There's the back. There's the markings inside. There's the English marks here. It says Wedwidge. And there's the sides. Just a really pretty piece. I love Wedgwood, especially with the black. It's just a nice, clean, sharp look. And on the Wedgwood, I'm going to do $55. Did I do this ring? I don't remember if I did. Um, this is cubic zirconia um, with a um, swirl. Yeah, I don't think I did this one. Um, cubic zirconia, sterling silver, a beautiful swirl. And it is a size seven. And on this one, I'm just going to do $20. Well, there you go. What'd you think? I think these are some nice pieces. Travels through time from back in the um, Victorian age all the way into the 90s. So if you see something you liked, definitely send me an email to one shadyandy at gmail.com. I will be sending out invoices tomorrow instead of today. Um, so, so these can be sent with the orders. So thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with us. And we will see you on the next one.